This will be a short analysis. Roll the intro. My little pony, my little pony, what is friendship all about? My little pony, my little pony, friendship is magic. Greetings, my brony and pay sister friends. Welcome to Crimson Analysis. In this episode, I'll be analyzing Season 8, Episode 23. Sounds of Silence. Why will this be a short video? Because there's not a lot to analyze. Episode opens, and just like that, Applejack and Fluttershy are being called by the map. This is the first time the map has teamed up the same ponies for a second quest! That's true, the map has never done that before. I think it's done every team up up to this point, but never done the same team up twice. It says, a group called the Kirin used to live there, known for their kindness and truth speaking. Now we know why the map called us! Unfortunately, other creatures also live there. The Neeric, fearsome beasts of pure fire. I always like seeing new creatures. You know, this show seems to favor Greek mythology, but Kieran is Asian, if I recall correctly. The Kieran are actually real mythical creatures based in Asian mythology. I was hoping that Neeric would be real too, but I looked for images of them and all I found were screenshots from this episode. This scene was quite entertaining, but I'm not sure how much value it holds, so I'm just gonna skip over it. I noticed that we haven't seen Fluttershy during this montage. She's still back at the start, isn't she? Of course, I should have seen that coming. And Flourisha again shows how she's grown when she stands up for herself. Applejack! Can you please listen to me? Wow, this place looks amazing. Okay, writing this down for another vacation destination. Oh, that's an interesting design. That's a very interesting design. I really like that. And pretty close to the images I found. My first thought was, maybe they don't understand Ponish. I mean, Ponish seems to be the common speech among... Equestria, but that doesn't mean everyone speaks it. Do you understand Ponish? Okay, so they do understand you, but they don't respond. Maybe if... No, I got nothing. Hi, I'm Autumn Blaze. You've just arrived, and perhaps you're tired or hungry or reflective and want to sleep and eat and journal, which you should do, of course, but first... Oh! Oh, what joy to talk with another creature. It's been so long. You must tell me everything about you. There's so much to say, so much to do. Oh, look at me. I'm going on, and you haven't seen... I mean, have you seen... What, um, what am I saying? Of course you haven't. So just... Uh, yeah, I will just... Follow me. I really like her voice. <laughs> She's cute. This is amazing. Oh, you think so, too? The way the light shimmers off everything, like, like it all suddenly woke up the moment you saw it, and you realize maybe the water and the mountains and the forest and the, yes, the rainbow and the stars in the sky are all looking back at you thinking the same thing, that we are a part of the everything. That maybe there's just one thing, and we are all it. You've been out here for a while, haven't you? Oh, we haven't had a song for a while. Relationships got worse. Spoiler alert, we quickly learned that words could be a curse. No more talking, yelled our leader, the last thing said aloud. Into the stream of silence, we stepped as a crowd. Her voice is amazing. She has a great voice. Oh, so it's not just a vow, it's an actual spell. So they can't talk. They actually physically can't. She makes some very good points in this song. I have a song called After the Rain by K2s, I think is how you say his name. He kind of says the same thing. It's not really the greatest thing to hear, but it is a fact of life. There are going to be highs, and there are going to be lows, and you have to go through the lows to get to the highs. I think that's my favorite song of this season. Oh, she is so cute. I really like her. 
I like her voice, I like her design, and she is just so cute. Really? Who's Fluttershy? Oh, did you name your shadow? Mine's called Silhouette Gloom of the Sundown Lands. You really have been alone for a long time, haven't you? I thought Nerex were dangerous when they're angry. How did you know you could control your temper? I didn't. Uh, I guess anger's like other feelings. It's not about having them, it's what you do with them. That's a very good lesson to learn. And one that most people never learn. And if you're really angry, then take some time away to be a Nerek where it won't hurt anybody. Also good advice. Also advice that no one ever listens to. I know that most of you watching this are probably humans, so I'll quote something my human friend Jonathan always says. We are a long way from Equestria. Both of these are really good lessons to learn. But like I said, a lot of people don't ever learn them. Now if more people would learn this lesson and take it to heart, maybe Jonathan wouldn't hate Earth so much. He has told me multiple times that if he could find a way, he'd rather live in Equestria than on Earth. After all, in the words of the humans, And I don't understand The way we all behave In this world of ours In this world we live in I searched the entire forest 73 and a half times. 73 and a how long have you been alone for? Cause if your kindness hadn't made you stop to help the squirrels, we never would have found this here flower. And if your honesty hadn't convinced the Kieran to talk, we wouldn't need to find it. <laughs> Guess it's a good thing the map sent both of us, huh? Harmony herself always knows the right points to send. Autumn Blaze, you have given us a gift. The realization that anger is within us. But it is our choice how we let it out. Okay, I didn't expect that voice to come out of you. Don't get me wrong, I like the voice. I really do like that voice. It's just that this show has kind of a trope that anytime there's a leadership type character, she always has a motherly voice. Celestia, for example, is a prime example of that. And I do appreciate that your heart was in the right place, child. But all you had to do was ask me, and I could have told you Philomena was a phoenix and saved you all this trouble. Because that's a running theme throughout the show, I thought that would happen here. So when it didn't, it threw me off guard. But I really do like her voice. Out of all the Kieran, I think she's my favorite design. Oh, come on! You can't tell us that she sings the most beautiful harmonies and then not let us hear it. Final thoughts, this was a great episode. I really enjoyed it. Maybe not as mind-blowing as the last one, but still a really enjoyable episode. I always love it when we get to see new creatures. This show really does its research when it introduces new creatures. The way Twilight explains the Kirin is exactly how they are in their own legends. And for once, the show actually uses creatures I didn't know anything about. The Kirin come from Asian mythology, which is something I don't know a lot about. I'm quite well versed in the Greek mythology, so I knew most of the creatures and what they were like before the show introduced them. But the Kirin I've never been exposed to. My rating for this episode is an 8.2 out of 10. Map episodes are always fun, and we get to meet new creatures. There's not a lot to analyze, and the characters pretty much sum up everything there is to know. Well, that's all for this episode of Crimson Analysis. I'm Crimson Shield. Thanks for watching. You can't give up your laughter, cause you're scared of a little pain. It's a lesson that my village never learned. No matter how hard I schooled them, fear of hurt is still what ruled them. Sometimes you gotta.